Hi everyone, uh, I know it's been a little while. I had planned to do a, um, a second quarter project roundup, but it turns out the second quarter falls uh, right in the middle of summer when I'm home with my kids and I'm very lucky to even get a complete sentence out without uh, being interrupted. So I decided not to do that. But now that they're back in school and I'm ready to uh, kind of restart my year work-wise, uh, I thought I'd go over what I'm doing right now and just kind of do a little catch up video. So hopefully this won't be too long. But I just wanted to first do a reminder that I'm running my August trunk sale. Uh, there's still another week, a little bit more than a week to go. And I'm still putting new things out on sale. And I just adjusted a bunch of prices for all of the totes and travel wallets and these little first aid ready rolls. Um, so you'll find that in the trunk sale section of my shop and uh, they're all going to be $10 so it's a great time to stock up on some fun holiday gifts for um, friends and co-workers. I have all of these zipper pouches and tablet clutches and they're all really fun, unique, individual things that come in tons of prints so you'll be able to find something to appeal I hope to all of your friends and loved ones and I have also even tote bags that I'm marking down to ten dollars so this is a great way to kind of get into that reusable um, it's great to move away from the single-use plastics and go into the grocery store then you don't have to worry about also what do you do with the plastic bags and returning them. So not only are you cutting down on use, but you're eliminating a chore for yourself. And if you go to the library all the time, like my kids and I, you could get this fun little library tote. Okay, so that is what is going on in the shop this week. There's still a whole bunch of other things that are marked down. Um, through the end of August, uh, all of my large quilts, a bunch of baby things, um, the minky blankets that are so popular, everything. Basically, I'm trying to uh, reduce a little bit of stock that I have from last year because I would like to move um, some things in a different direction coming this year, and I need more storage space, basically. So you win. I'm trying to get rid of some things, and uh, you can get them at a great price. And one of the things that I want to note that I am wanting to do with my shop this year and move in more of a direction toward um, some philanthropy, so uh, using my talents to make donations and hopefully a greater impact on the world through uh, charity organizations. So I hope to do at least a quarterly quilt that I will auction off. I'm thinking right now maybe eBay Charity could host it. Um, so you could go and bid and then whatever uh, profits that I make basically off of it will go directly to a rotating charity. So um, I'm thinking this month since it's school season and this quilt I made has a lot of um, fun uh, themes of papers and pencils and glasses and paper clips and notebooks and things like that, um, that this would be a good one to auction off and then give money to schools through the uh, Adopt a Classroom program. So anything, I will just take a small amount of money um, just to cover some of the cost of supplies so I don't uh, kind of dig myself into a hole trying to do this uh, every quarter and then all of that, uh, the rest on top of that of whatever people bid on it will go to the charity. Um, I'm thinking in November I have a um, Stars and Stripes quilt that I had started a while ago and I'm thinking that might be great to, vet to auction off for a veteran's cause. Uh, some of it will be to be determined. So um, basically what I'm going to go over is I have a lot of things that are on my, I have a long whip list, uh, works in progress, um, that I've been working through even since 2018. Um, 
And I just ditch projects for a variety of reasons. I think a lot of uh, creative people do that. Um, sometimes it's just because I run out of supplies. Sometimes I'm just not sure how I want to finish it. Um, or, you know, some of these is really dumb. I just didn't get a backing for it at the time, and then I just uh, let it sit. So I'm trying to work my way down through this list. Again, I'm just like kind of clearing out the studio. I just want to refresh and start some things over and start from scratch and feel re-inspired and feel a little bit more creative freedom to go in a different direction. And part of that is finishing up old projects so they're not hanging over my head. And also, you know, it's a quick way to get new things into the shop for the holiday season. So I have already finished a couple of things that were on my list. And one of those was an expanding star that I had started uh, last spring when I had done a bunch of these. And I really like how this turned out. I'm calling this one bright and peppy. Um, it has a really beautiful plaid backing on it too. Um, really fun, nice baby size, um, large, large baby size toddler quilt. Um, it would fit on a crib, but it's all 54 inches, so it's almost five feet. Uh, so I'm not, I'm just five feet, so it will last for a really long time. Um, and that's what I like to do. I like to make larger items that I would hope that kids could use for years and years and years, not just when they're a little baby. And then another one that I finished that I had started last January was this Prairie Stars quill. And this is a large throw, so you won't even be able to see it all. But uh, it's really nice, and the backing is this beautiful kind of washed, scalloped look. I already washed this one. I actually might keep this one, but um, I quilted this on my new Janobi Skyline S5, and I'm really loving using my new machine. It's making quilting go so much faster for me, um, and I'm really excited to, you know, use it to get a whole bunch of projects done um, really quick. So those are our first few things that I have, and then something that's been on my wall for a really long time is this quilt. Again, this would be a throw size. I don't remember the measurement. It's just been hanging up in my room for a really long time. Uh, I made it out of leftovers from a couple of other projects. Um, I just really love the colors, um, but I'm hoping to finish this one. I might add a little bit of extra border to bring it up to maybe a twin size, so look for that one in the shop soon. And any of these, if you're interested um, in having them finished for you, you could always shoot me a message or let me know, uh, and then I can we can work out a timeline and pricing and all of that because I sometimes don't know exactly how much it's going to cost until I work through it and see how much time it takes and uh, you know calculate the exact fabric usage and all of that kind of stuff so uh, then another one that I had started a long time ago was this kind of art quilt that is this eagle almost done. Why did I not finish this? I don't know. It's a squash blossom and then this eagle pattern that I came up with, which I think might be fun to write a pattern off of. Um, I think I started even doing that and then I just, I don't know, didn't finish it. So I'd like to get this one done. And oh, the picnic quilt. I'm not going to open it because it has a bunch of stuff rolled up inside of it. But, uh, you know, I started this. I wanted to finish it before we went on vacation and take it to the lake. But that didn't happen. So I would like to finish that one up. Maybe I can take it to, you know, the lake next year. Uh, the next thing I have is this Adorn quilt, which I did several years ago. And it's all of these colored stars made out of different triangles in like an ombre effect. I have a whole bunch of them. It could probably be a king-sized quilt. The only thing I know is that my sister had made some hand-dyed fabric and that was excellent and it's so beautiful. It has like kind of these um, different shades in it and really that beautiful swirly hand-dyed effect. But the color didn't fix right, so I know it's gonna bleed. So I just have 
these two triangles to take out and replace with something else and then put it all together. So this could be finished and it would be huge and really fun because it would be all these rainbow stars all the way from, uh, you know, like the pinks and the oranges and the reds, greens, blues, uh, I think there's a purple one and some gray. Uh, so that would be really, really great to finish. I just need to fix that one block and then put it all together. Um, then I have, oh, a Christmas tree skirt. I made one for under my tree last year from a bunch of my Christmas fabrics that I had left over for making that Christmas star quilt that I did based off of the Emily Dennis pattern. And I had a few other leftovers. So instead of putting them in my scrap bin, I decided to do these tree skirts. This one is like a, a brick layout, but I never finished it. So can I finish it this year before Christmas? I even have some backing for it. All I need to do is put it together, cut it, cut the hole in, finish it up, could be done. Be great to finish that. Um, I have one here. I was just kind of playing. This is maybe a little bit of a peek into what I'm thinking might be a fun new direction to go in. Just a little bit more freeform quilts. So this one was leftover half square triangles from a very large project I did for someone and then just some fun applique and trim work. You know, I just I just want to try some different things in quilting, you know, that it's not your standard patterns or, or doing someone else's patterns all the time. Just have a little bit more fun and play. I find that when I'm working on the art quilts and things that that's when I truly feel connected to my artwork and I'm getting a whole bunch of threads. Anyways, um, you know, that's just kind of a little bit more where I want to go. I just want to feel it a little bit more and not just uh, be making things to make things, but being making things to be a little bit more expressive and a little bit more uh, in tune with what I want to do. Um, then I have this Oh, Granny Squares quilt. It's huge. Uh, but again, this is like a twin size. I even made the backing for it. And it's really pretty. It's soft yet colorful, which I think is really fun. There's one square. And it has a very cool little um, alphabet critter. So this would be great for a child's room, I think. Or you know, in a playroom or on your couch even, just it's nice and white and bright and colorful and forgive that it's very wrinkly because obviously these have been sitting in a cupboard for a really long time. But I'm thinking of how I might like to try to finish this one with and keeping the, um, the pointed edge so that it would kind of have a, an edge detail with all of these fun angles. So I think that's what's holding me back from finishing it, that I want to try something different and I'm afraid it won't work out, but I'm not going to do that anymore. Like this year is going to be all about the, uh, the new and trying different things and not being afraid because uh, it's not doing anybody any good sitting in a cupboard. Uh, another one that I have is this Christmas quilt that I started a long time ago. And then something got on it. How sad is this? So I don't know if there's a way to save it. I think I used not very high quality pins to pin this. And I think they got like moist, like moisture from my room. It is in the basement of my studio. So sometimes moisture uh, can be a little bit of an issue. So I don't know if there's a way that I can save this. If I can like, I don't know. I've been thinking of adding ink to different things so I don't know if I could paint over top of some of those areas and add some inking details that that might work um, but I think this would be a great one to experiment on because otherwise it's just sitting there it's not doing anything and it's a great fun pop of color for Christmas for the holidays yet still really neutral which I think would be great to have out and let's see then I have this crazy one that I started I don't really know where this is gonna go, but it's a bunch of, oh, that's the best. Um, it's a bunch of triangles, 
with different borders. And they're all like leftovers from other projects and strips that I had. So I'm going to try to make something out of this. Um, this one's a lot. This is kind of how I store my things when I'm working on them. I'll pull a whole bunch of fabrics that I think can work and I keep in the Tupperwares. Or if you purchase something from me and we're doing a specific thing, I'll pull all your fabrics and keep them in a bin and I label it and that's how I work through the project so everything stays together. And then I have, I guess the last one is this quilt that I've had for a really long time, one of the first ones that I really made um, from my own kind of freestyle thing. And it's kind of simple and modern, but it sat down there for years and I don't really know why. It's, it's really pretty. It's got a nice soft minky back, but I'm thinking it might be fun to jazz it up. And I've done this before with other quilts. Um, I did the Dino Roar one a few years ago where I just added some applique on top of it. Um, and it seems like, you know, there aren't that many of those out there. So maybe those are things that people find to be really fun. But for this one, I have a couple of these mini buntings. So I thought I might do a fun treatment with this where I drape these across. So there's like a 3D effect. And then I have an idea to put like a little applique bear, maybe with a little um, party flag or something really cute. Uh, to jazz this one up for a fun little kids room. So I think that is mostly everything that I needed to talk about. Um, and hopefully you'll follow along and I'll finish tons of things up. So have a great day. Bye.